All right, so this is an exciting day. We got this new trailer. We're gonna go out and pull her around to Topsy. We're finally at the point where we're done doing all the testing in the shop, the integration, and now it's time to go out, do some road testing. So we picked up this set of Super B loggers and let's head to the mill, let's deck her up and let's get her ready to go out on the road. So what we got right here, this is a set of Super B log trailers. So basically, Super B train, B train means that the rear trailer is connected with a fifth wheel to the lead trailer. Now, how it works in BC, because we're going up so many hills, we're up in the mountains here, is that you can't pack your trailers like this when you're going out for a load because you have no weight over your drive. There's basically nothing here. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the sawmill because normally you unload, then you got a trailer hoist, the trailer hoist will come down. It picks the trailer up, you back under it, and then you set the trailer down onto the lead trailer. That way the weight of the trailer is packed here. Number one, you're not wearing out tires extra that you don't need to. Number two, you've got more weight on the drive so you're not spinning and slipping. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what it is. It's convenience, now you got a tight block. You don't have to worry about backing up both trailers because backing up a set of Super Bs can be a little bit skillful. So you got one trailer, it's short, you can back it in easy. When you get out to the bush, the loader ring comes out, he picks your trailer up, he sets it on the ground, and you back into it. Thing's running great. This, uh, <laughs> the max power I could pull to get that thing up to speed once we got her up to 50 there was about 40 kilowatts of power. This thing has 500 kilowatts and the new trucks have 700 kilowatts, so. Okay, so one of the annoying things is if you're too far forward, too far back, it pulls the trailer the wrong way and then you gotta go back in the truck and move it a little bit. But normally you go into the same mill all the time so you know exactly where your mark is. Like where do you line your mirror up? Since I've never done that with this truck, <laughs> I had to guess. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back up till this uh, pole here, these set of stakes are right between that middle dual and the tires are gonna come down on these rider bars here. And that's where it rests. Okay, so we're all curious, what's the weight of the truck and trailer? We don't know the trailer weight. We know the truck came in around 12 and a half tons. So on my, last time I pulled a Super B, I think I was scaling in around 23 with a set of Dopker trailers, 22, 23. I think we're gonna be hopefully around that 24, 25. Could be as high as 26, 28. They are some heavy trailers. Okay, so this is the same rig out that we actually, me and Theron had on both of our logging trucks, which means that we are the same weight as a conventional truck. And we know we can lose like another thousand, we can get this down to 21, which means that the hybrid system is still lighter, but you get the extra 1500 so we can pull more payload than a normal truck. It, the math works. And this is a long wheel base, so extra frame rail, extra steel on the hood, a heavier, way heavier cab than we need to, and more batteries than the production truck is going to have. It's got like two more batteries than the production truck. So this thing's gonna be, it'll be the payload king of the bush. All right, so we got the trailer decked up, we got the truck scaled in, now we gotta head over to the charging station. I was worried that she was gonna be like 23, 24, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we don't but we can pack that. more payload now, and we know we can lose the weight, so. Totally. Yeah, we're definitely, uh, we're already easily half a ton just on batteries.
So this is an Edison Motors charging station. It's hybrid, so all you do, put some fuel in the tank, fire up the generator and recharge. Simple. Turns out there is actually thousands of these charging stations across North America. So that's one of the awesome things about Edison Motors. We don't need the charging infrastructure. It's already there for our trucks. Technically then Edison Motors has more charging stations than Tesla does. Eat it, Tesla. It's 35 and now I'm regening. Uh, yeah, well you're supposed to be regening. But I've got my foot pushed down. Oh yeah, do you? I do. I am pushing down at like 25% throttle. Oh, okay. All right, so we got an interesting happening now. If you guys remember, the last thing we were working on was regening. The guys are dialing that in, and now we got a bit of a regen issue that's a little interesting. So once we get up to speed above 50 kilometers an hour or so, what happens is, is that this axle, for some reason, goes into regen. Now we think because it's a two-speed rear end, it's right at the shift point where it tells it to shift. So these axles shift into second gear, and for some reason, this one's applying regen with the throttle, and this one's driving. So this one's regening 100 kilowatts, this one's pushing 100 kilowatts so I can move, but I can tell that I'm fighting myself. So Eric's just in there with the laptop with Peter and Levi and Jacob. They're just gonna look at that programming, make sure that it's good. Our theory right now is that these two electric motors, you know one axle's backwards from each other, so basically one axle doesn't have the negative value, it has a positive value, and it's just a little bit backwards in that thing. So they're just gonna double check that and hopefully we'll get going again here. Should take them 20, 30 minutes, but that's all part of testing. <laughs> always something new when you're building these things, always something new. We're just analyzing some data here while we're pulled along the side of the road. And it looks like we're, we're getting the power that we need to go to one axle, but one axle is uh, for some reason either regening power when it shouldn't, um, it's either coasting, uh, but sometimes it does work. I kind of thought we were doing a, maybe like the wrong shifting engagement or we're not shifting into drive, but it's, it's definitely confusing us, but it's good that we're recording all this. So we'll be able to analyze more once we get back up to the house today. So a lot of people ask, why don't you put alternators on the wheel and then you could just produce power when you're driving? Because this is exactly what happens. We have one axle producing power the other axle making power, and without a doubt, it is a massive power loss in the system. It's a net loss of 50 kilowatts just trying to move it. So you're actually losing a ton of power. So no, you cannot create infinite power. We have disproved that myth 100%. You cannot put alternators on the wheel, produce power and recharge while you're driving. It just slows the vehicle down and you work harder to fight it. All right, this is awesome. Topsy is finally home back where she was made after nine months, three months, four months in Ontario, a month or two at the inspection facility up in Quinell. Then we had it with our testing partners and our partners at MCON as we were going through it there. Finally home, we got it out. We pinned onto a full set of trailers, packed a full set of trailers around, got into the mill, got the trailer loaded up, ready to go haul logging. We did a hill climb. It pulled way less power than we thought. The weight was less than we thought. We can pack the same payload as a normal logging truck. This went really well. We did have the hiccup with the regen, but it was awesome. We had the engineering team, software guys, they were able to immediately climb up, diagnose the issue, figure out the issue, reprogram the issue, got her back home. So now the mill is closed here for about another week and a half, two weeks. So that gives us two weeks to pack around that empty trailer, get some more road testing in. And as soon as that mill opens up, should be hauling in a load of logs, I'm excited. Well, if you made it into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely click that logo on the page. And uh, thanks so much for supporting us on our merch store, really appreciate that. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, X, and on TikTok. And don't leave yet, we got some great content on the page, so keep exploring and thanks for joining the journey with us.